God bless, God bless, God bless you. I pray that you all are doing well. Uh, I am Jamar Grimsley, and this is Get Right With God. I don't know if you guys are on Facebook or if you're on YouTube, but uh, welcome. If this is your first time to my channel, but if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Amen, amen, amen. Well, I know you guys can see the title there, and it says you can love them from afar. You can love them from afar. You know, and, and why do I say that you can love them from afar? The reason you can love them from afar is because the people, some people hinder, you know, what God wants to do in your life. Some people that you have in your life is going to hinder the plan of God and what God wants to do. Uh, on your next level in order for him to even move you to the next level you have to first uh, rid yourself of certain people you know what I'm saying it's certain people not everybody but sometimes it will be everybody but it's, it's just certain people that are in your life that are not good for your spiritual life you understand what I'm saying there's people that uh, they just have a bad uh, spirit you know even though they may seem friendly and they may come up to you and seem like they're very nice and, you know, they're happy for you. and But those people are, are releasing word curses behind your back that you don't even know of, you know. So they're putting out things in the air, even talking to other people, you know, about uh, maybe what you're doing and, and that what you're doing is not going to work. And you know what I'm saying? Like those people that you've uh, revealed um the plans and the things that uh, you plan on doing. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, those people, sometimes you got to keep your mouth closed because the Bible tells us to be slow, you know, to 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 speak, you know, which means that, okay, sometimes, and, and, and who this for? The Holy Ghost has been convicting you about it, but it's like your flesh just, and you just say what you want to say, and then it's already out. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you have to just keep your mouth closed about certain things until they are manifested. You know, once they're manifested, you can talk about it if you, if you want. But sometimes you have to use discernment. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm doing something, I don't really tell anybody until it's already done. You know, and that's wisdom because I wanted to say certain things to certain people and talk about it. But I found that every time I did that, there was a delay. You know what I'm saying? There was a delay. There was a delay. So it's like the Holy Ghost revealed to me, stop telling your business. You know what I'm saying? So stop telling your business. Now, those people, you can still love them from afar. Of course, you can love them, but you don't have to tell them exactly what you're doing. And those people, you can't really take them with you to where God wants to bring you to. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to hinder your blessings. And a lot of those people are jealous. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those people are jealous. They're hating on you because of the anointing that you have on your life. Oh yes, because of the anointing that you have on your life. They can truly see that God is with you. They can truly see that there's favor on your life, you know, and God may not be working with them like he's working with you. You know what I'm saying? So they always have a negative thing to say. And those type of people, you don't need that energy around you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're living with those people. You know what I'm saying? These people are in your life daily. You're speaking to them and you're always, you know, conversating with them. And, and as you're telling them what's going on in your life, so you just gotta, you gotta just be quiet. <laughs> That's pretty much it. You gotta just be quiet because you're inviting this into your life by you speaking about it. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to sometimes just be quiet because again, I was the same way. I would just tell everybody everything. I was so excited. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you have to use wisdom and just keep your mouth closed about things that God, that, that God is doing in your life or things that uh, you plan on doing because the moment you do that, even the kingdom of darkness will begin to work against it. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to use your discernment in, 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 in telling people, you know, what you're doing and what your plans are. And you know what I'm saying? So you have to be very careful there. And then, because uh, where God is going to take you, the, you don't need any negativity. You don't need anybody talking about you. You don't need, like, you don't need that where God is taking you. 
And sometimes I hear that God is trying to uh, like, like release you from these people, but it's like you keep going back. You know what I'm saying? Like you keep going back uh, to them. Like you keep going back to them. Like you'll start calling them when they don't answer the phone. And you know, it, it, those things, like it's like God is working behind the scenes and you continue to chase these people. But God is saying, just let them go. I'm trying to disconnect that relationship. You know what I'm saying? And then you got some people in your life that are just waiting for you to prosper. You understand what I'm saying? And then these people are so close to you. So as soon as God begins to bless you, they're going to feel entitled to what you have. But you're the one that worked for this right here. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. This is your blessing. Mm -hmm. But people want to eat off your blessing. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. When they've only slandered and hated and gossiped about, you know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> those people, God is saying, remove them from your circle, remove them from your life. You understand what I'm saying? Because God won't even do what he wants to do because these people are still there. And again, I don't know if it's family members, if it's friends, but as I'm speaking, the Holy Ghost is revealing to you those people that you need to disconnect from. You understand what I'm saying? And I hear as soon as you do it, <laughs> You are going to be elevated to another level, but that is the only reason you're still at this level. You understand what I'm saying? So that was just a quick word, and and, and and I don't know again who it was for, but you know who it's for. You know, you have to disconnect from those people, um, but you can love them from afar. <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to hate them. Of course not. We to love everybody, but you can love them from afar. You understand what I'm saying? You have to love them from afar. Continue to pray for them, you know, but you, you, you have to remove them from your life sometime. And that doesn't mean you hate them. That doesn't mean you feel you see, because we'll think that, OK, I'm not better than anybody or I don't want to be seen and prideful. So let me just reach out because that you know what I'm saying? That's that's something that we would think, you know, because you pull away. Oh, I ain't trying to be prideful, you know, um, I know I ain't better than nobody because. That's what that it doesn't mean that though. It doesn't mean that, but you have to do what God wants you to do. You know what I'm saying? And you can't worry about other people. And that's a problem that I used to have was people pleasing. Like I wanted to make sure everybody was my friend. And if they wasn't my friend, then I would do what I can to make them be my friend. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I don't I don't operate like that anymore. My whole focus is to do what God has called me to do, to please God and you know what I'm saying? Because listen at this, right? People are always going to talk, whether it's good talk or whether it's bad talk. So it doesn't matter. You might as well just focus on what God is telling you to do and go straight because there's people over here talking. There's people over here talking. So why even spend your energy on those things? Because people are going to talk. Bad or good, whatever you do, people are going to have something to say. So ignore all the chatter and just do what God is calling you. Straight, 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 straight. Just do what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them because if you do good or if you do bad, you understand people are always going to talk. So why even hear those voices? Just continue to do your assignment, you know? Just continue to do your assignment, you know? That's all you do. Focus on me. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about them and their voices and what they're saying and you know, um, God is going to fight your battles. You know, God is going to fight your battles. No weapon that's formed against you shall be able to prosper in every tongue that rises against you in judgment. God will condemn in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. You know, you guys. And again, it just was a quick word. And again, it wasn't for everybody, but because everybody doesn't have people. It's not for everybody. So you want to seek the Lord and make sure that this word, you know, was for you. Uh, you know, um, so you want to make sure that it was for you by seeking the face of God and going to pray and get confirmation from God about the word. But yeah, I believe it was for somebody on today. So just receive it. And you have to, again, as soon as you disconnect yourself, like, you know, cause God is trying to help you, but somehow it's like you chasing back after those people, you know what I'm saying? So you have to, uh, be careful, you know? And listen at the Holy Spirit. I hear listen at the Holy Spirit because he's speaking to you, but it's like you're getting it and you understand, but it's like you feel like you need people. You understand what I'm saying? You feel like you need 
certain people. But this season is over. You know what I'm saying? They were there for a certain reason in a season. And now the season is over. So you have to let the person go. And God is trying to separate it. But you're still holding on to it. You know what I'm saying? So just, just you have to just let it go. Because that's determining your next level. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to determine if God moves you forward. If God gives you that blessing. You understand what I'm saying? Because when God blesses you. You're going to squander it. You know what I'm saying? Those people are going to be right there, you know, and, and it, it's, it's just not going to work. Their season is over in your life. All right. All right. Well, you guys, I am Jamar Grimsley and this is Get Right With God. Uh, you guys, I want you guys to please make sure that you support my channel. Make sure that you like this video. Comment down below. Let me know if this was for you and what you thought about the message. Um, Did it resonate with your spirit or you know, what was it? So uh, just comment down below. Make sure you like the video, share the video, and also make sure that you turn on that notifications bell so that uh, every time I upload, you guys will be notified. Again, um, I want you to check out my radio podcast. It's uh, Get Right With God. Uh, well, it's, it's blogtalkradio.com forward slash get right with God. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash get right with God. All right, and my email address, if you want to email me for, for advice or if you got any questions or whatever it is, my uh, email address is getrightwithgod, ministries number one at gmail.com, getrightwithgodministries number one at gmail.com, and for prayer requests, and you can go to my website, which is getrightwithgodministries.org, getrightwithgodministries.org. Again, you guys, I am Jamar Grimsley, and this is Get Right With God. Um, I love you guys and thank you uh, for taking time out to uh, watch. You know, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Again, you guys, until next time, you guys take care. Bye-bye.